How's it going guys? Good morning from Luton Airport this time. I feel like we're doing stealth camps at every airport in London. We are off on a last minute flight to Mallorca. It is 5am. Good to go, lol? <laughs> Always coming with the energy. We'll see how she is in a few hours. Well, that was an interesting flight. We have touched down in Parma, which is basically 20 minutes from Magaluf. So we had all sorts. We had hen parties, rugby tours, stag do's. I had mermaids in front of me, pirates behind me. Me and Lauren were sat separately, so I'm just waiting for her to come out now <laughs> and we'll see how she found it. That was an interesting flight, wasn't it? How was that? <laughs> anyway, touchdown Mallorca. We're reunited. Let's get to the hotel. Do you know what? I'm less scared on the plane when I'm not with you. Why? I I'm supposed to be your support partner. I know, but I think it's because I have to be big and brave on my own. True. And I don't get that scared when I'm on my own. Oh. I feel a bit brave. See you later then. <laughs> Touchdown palm tree land. Oh, feel the sun. That's what I'm talking about. It's perfect temperature, isn't it? Oof. Ready for a cocktail? Do you know what? You wait there. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers to that. Cheers. Straight into the sun. Mm. Bartender's trying to get me crunk already. <laughs> what you got? Vodka? It's got vodka in it, but just syrup, I guess. <laughs> Sweet. Early doors, Sorry. orange juice on the beach, and then we'll head up to the room. Okay guys, check this out. We have arrived at Inside Calablanca. It's one of the Inside by Melia hotels. They have several located on Mallorca. Lauren's in the back here squeaking around. She's got her slippers on, she's making herself comfy. And I'm gonna give you a quick tour of where we're gonna be staying for the next couple of nights. Check this place out. Big double bear, I need that. Didn't get much sleep last night. Feels comfy. Go on, big dive. <laughs> That's it, done. See you in two days. Yeah, nice interior, big TV. Bath. It's been a while. Oh, you can see me. <laughs> Big mirrors. And you're in the mirror lol. Oh, you can see me. Huge bathroom area. Double sink. Shower. Toilet on the side there. Plenty, plenty of storage. We've got like a whole walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> we're only here for two nights, but we have got a suitcase. So we're going to unpack that in a minute. And I know Lauren is desperate to get out to the beach. So we're going to have a quick look at the balcony. Probably catch me there later this evening. We're definitely going to be hanging out and chilling for the next couple of days. It overlooks Palma Nova Beach. Magaluf is just around the corner that way. We're probably going to steer more this way. As you know, we're not quite the party animals. <laughs> As someone pops a bottle in the background. That's the thing I love about Spain. Anywhere you go, you're always surrounded by mountains. Shame we're not here a bit longer because it would have been good to get a little hike in. You know we love getting out and about. Also, how good is the temperature? It's perfect, isn't it? Cool breeze. Look at the blues, man. Big pool down there. We're going to get involved at some point. So we're going to get our bikinis on. Our bikinis on? Your bikinis. <laughs> Definitely you bikini on. <laughs> I'm going to get my trunks on. And over the next two days, there's going to be a lot of chilling. A lot of sunbathing, oh, yeah. probably a lot of eating, and then a bit more chilling. Oh yeah. We need this little break. Trees in paradise. There you go. <laughs> please, please, can we take them home? <laughs> Beach ready? Let's go. 24. The size of this fella. <laughs> Jesus. Make some ornament for your house, wouldn't it? Food's just arrived, Lauren's been distracted, look. A baby pom. It's a little pom. A puppy it's pom. Tiny. It's okay. Anyway, more importantly, food's in. I've got guac and chips. Lauren, of course, she's got the vegan burger. Burger and potato wedges? Yeah. Come on. Already nailed. Second cocktail. Yeah, well, gone. Gone. That is what I'm talking about. Sun on the skin. They offered to get us a rental car, and I said, don't bother. We're here for two days. And you know what? I plan on chilling, walking up and down a beach, and jumping in the pool. Good? Oh my god, that is so good. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Typical Brits abroad. So as if one pool's not enough, there's actually a choice of two pools. There's this one, which is on the beachfront. You can't quite see it at the minute, but that's for the morning as the sun comes over. And then once the sun hits the opposite side, Lauren's checking out the souvenirs. You, the decor inside. you, you calm down. <laughs> once the sun comes over the other side, we switch, we go through. We're going to go check out the other pool. I reckon those two have got our name on them. Okay. Yeah, come Let's on. <laughs> Is that right for you, madam? Yes, thank you. Yeah? Getting myself a job. Thank you, sir. And this one? Yeah, just over there, please. Right, get your glasses out, shirts off. Big white skin. How are you feeling? 
I've got to get my rings off my fingers, but my, my fingers are that chubby, they turn into sausages. <laughs> Lauren's worried about tan lines already. We're basically here for 48 hours, so the mission really is to just not get burnt. I'm lathered up. I'm going to try and enjoy this bit of sun before five minutes time. I'm red like a lobster. All right, they're sausage fingers. When I get hot, my hands get swollen. We were just saying the other day, we've never had a holiday together. Like we're always going full pelt adventuring and traveling. And this feels a bit like a holiday. Sanka, you're dead. <laughs> Five minutes we've been here. She's knockout, look. I'm not asleep. Shut up. I can't sleep in this position. <laughs> you look comfy. On a serious note, we've pretty much got the whole place to ourselves. Play it cool, play it cool. Yeah, not phased at all. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Nearly as cold as that narrowboat marina. <laughs> oh, they didn't know. I fell in yesterday, guys. Before, when we were packing for the airport, I was cleaning the toilet out in a camper van and I fell, first time in three years, fell in the pond outside our boat. Swampy, dirty. This is a bit better. It is absolutely freezing. <laughs> Got to play it cool. There's a couple down the other end of the pool. Don't make no noise. Keep breathing. Wim Hof, Wim Hof. I shower, it's good for you. On my leg. It's good for you. <laughs> Just trying to warm up on the jets. You're cold. Oh, let's have a hug. <gasps> Are you going again? No, yeah. I can't, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Freezing, yeah, yeah. ready for dinner. Yeah, yeah. She can't help herself. Go on, my son. <laughs> Oi. I ain't got energy. I'm a little weak, isn't I? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> We've just got back to the room there. And they've laid us out a little something something which Lauren's got her eye on. Look at that, that is sick. A little treasure, a little souvenir for the boat. Hi Charles and Lauren, welcome to Inside Calablanca. Charles. Wish you a lovely stay with us. We're really happy for you to be curious with us. Look for this Cirel. Cirel? Cirel? It's a typical Mallorcan toy. It's your time to discover how it plays. It looks like a whistle. Go on. Yeah, give it a blow, see what happens. Oh, it's well cool. It is pretty. Oh, Jesus, go on, big one. How about the birds, birds coming on the balcony. Oh, that's actually ringing in my ear. I bet the dogs don't like that. We're gonna have to YouTube that, find out what the purpose of it is and the story behind it, and we'll come back to it later. <laughs> Party in Mallorca, just us two. One bottle of wine. We should go around the corner to Magaloo. Give us your best move. <laughs> the DJ didn't like it, the DJ didn't like it. Oi, <laughs> what do you call this? Look at this for a setup. But the job here is to promote the hotel. We have got to do some work, so we're just setting up for some photos. But once the photos are done, we will enjoy that bubble bath. All right, guys, so we've come down to the kitchen. Whoever thought that, genius, the restaurant in the house. We've got a nice bit of dinner coming in a minute, but for starters, got a little pineapple juice. Lauren's on the red wine. Rioca? Rioja. But better than the Rioja at Tesco, right? Yeah, it's well nice. <laughs> and we've got some bread with alioli. We'll pick it up when the mains come. Also, almost forgot, how's that for a centrepiece on our little table? Perfect for the wanderers. It's an absolutely beautiful restaurant. I guess this is where breakfast is going to be served in the morning and a view out over the beach. Look at this. Oh my days. Fancy little mushroom risotto. And gnocchi's potato, isn't it? Uh, like a potato pasta, yeah. Creamy mushroom gnocchi. That is bad boy. <laughs> I feel like we should cheers. My drinks are nearly all gone, but we've got to cheers. So is my drink. <laughs> no doubt. We'll carry on into the night hours, darling. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Big chocolate cake, ice cream and crumble. Having a little blackberries on there as well. I love the blackberries. You want the blackberries? One each. What a massive. Look at that. That's a blackberry. So we're full up. We're definitely a little bit tired, but we've come up to grab a fleece, get some jeans on. We're going to take a stroll at the streets of Mallorca at night, see what we can find. Probably a few drunk people, but why not? We're only here for a couple of days. We'll power through. They can't do that. You can't do that. You can't park there, sir. That's terrible. <laughs> Tesco. Supermarket Express, that's naughty. That is not Tesco, <laughs> I'm not having it. That's terrible, isn't it? That's naughty. Lauren, you know how long you've been asking for a palm? I'll get lost. <laughs> Go on, boy. I know what I want instead now. What she found, Can go on. Baby? 
Oh, that is horrible. Put that, go. put that down. That is horrible. That's you, Mr. Tomato Ed. That's me after one day on the sunbeds. <laughs> There's literally fake babies in every shot. It's the weirdest shit. I'm sorry, but that is an ugly baby. <laughs> Look at this one. It's got a full head of hair. What are you talking about, Willis? This one's got teeth. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> We've got flashing lights in front of us. We have made it about 20 minutes around the bend to Magaluf. You better put that camera down because it's going to get stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get some stuff, but I don't want to get in any, any ruckuses or get my camera stolen. But yeah, a lot of drunk men wandering about dressed in fancy outfits. So we're definitely coming into Magaluf main strip right now. We're getting asked left, right and centre if we want drinks, but as you can tell, I've just got me fleece and me flip-flops on, mate. Just making a little video. <laughs> Magaluf, Magaluf. <laughs> We've got to try and run the gauntlet, yeah? What does that mean? You've got to make it through there alive. <laughs> we made it home alive. <laughs> just about. Yeah, that ain't a bit of me, old Magaluf strip. What do you reckon, love? Um, I have major, major anxiety over there. I mean, we're no snobs, but I think we'll stick to Palma Nova Beach and our little inside Calablanca. Get me in that bed. I mean, that's a bit more me. Oh, can't you tell I'm 31? Get in here, get your feet in here. Oi. Another day tomorrow, we're gonna get up for sunrise, I think. Don't hold me to it, you'll find out in a couple of seconds, but we'll catch you bright and early either way. Good morning from Mallorca. 6.20. I got a big boom boom on the shoulder. Look outside, look outside. You can't really see it on the camera. It was darker about 10 minutes ago as well. Great sunrise over the balcony, big palm tree set in. Oh, no, it's another alarm going off. There we go. Oh, we're going to get a coffee. <laughs> Breakfast time, I think. Lauren said, I hope there's a buffet for breakfast where you can go and help yourself. She's happy. She, she's happy. What even are they? Oh, naughty. Happy? <laughs> she, <laughs> she's happy. I've gone with Lauren on a hot breakfast this morning, bit of beans on toast, but that's the beautiful thing with the hotel breakfast is you can just go up, try it a bit, probably go two, three times. Oh, that's what holiday's all about, isn't it? <laughs> When we woke up this morning, I was like, oh, it's, it's not so bad waking up at 6 a.m. I'm wide awake. Cut to, it's half nine. I definitely need another hour, but. Feels like we've been awake for 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's good getting up early though, because the day lasts longer. Yeah, and we can have a little nap by the pool. So I'm just flicking through the photos quickly to make sure I've got enough content for the trip. Lauren's run down to the pool, and I thought I'd flick the camera up quickly to document this moment, more for me, really, to show you guys what goes on behind the scenes, just editing quickly before I go down to the pool to enjoy it myself, and also to remember this moment more for me personally, because this is the first job overseas on my own since splitting uh, the social medias with Lauren. Uh, luckily, I managed to get her on as a plus one, so that's great. We're still doing exactly what we used to do. And also, I've come onto my emails and locked in another two trips both with Lauren as a plus one, so things are looking really good. Um, just want to say a quick thank you to you guys for all the support, and yeah, just buzzing. Good moment, good little memory here, and uh, I'm going to quickly flick through these photos, double check everything, and then go and chill by the pool. All good? No cocktail? No, not yet, it's too early. Happy love? So this is what a holiday looks like. I don't know if it comes across much in these videos, but... I'm not very good at switching off, man, so I've got my headphones. I'm gonna catch up on the boxing. Big Katie Taylor fight tonight. Might even stay up for it if I can get some uh, strong Wi-Fi in the room. It's like 3 a.m. Staying up for it? No, I ain't coming up. <laughs> but I'm gonna put the camera down for a bit, probably grab a smoothie, and chill by the pool. And we're out. I need to wake up, man. Laying on the sunbed all day. Absolutely dazed. All good, Lazza? Yeah, I'm good. Chilling. I'm not going to lie, I'm a confident guy, but around the pool it's a bit awkward filming, isn't it? It's because it's so quiet. It's so quiet. There's just loads of people sitting there, so I don't want to be the guy that puts the camera up and that. But now we're out. Palmer Nova Beach. Going to have a little wander, see what we can find. Big boardwalks, volleyball courts, 
everywhere. I don't know if there's going to be a tournament or if this is just like standard procedure. If they are going to be playing volleyball, I hope it's not in this heat. I'd guess they'll probably do it a little bit later when the sun's going down, but it's pretty quiet. Although it is down season, it's not even really the start of the holidays yet. They said really June is when it all kicks off. So we're a couple of months early. So it's gone from awkward by the pool to probably a bit more awkward on the beach. It's just kids and topless ladies really, isn't it? So Got loads of titties. <laughs> loads of titties. Yeah, I can't really film that. And I don't really want to go running around filming kids. But what I will say, we were just saying there, there's loads of families like tucked under the trees having picnics. All Spanish. What a way of life. Chilling. Whether it's birthday parties or just summer picnics under the trees. We need a bit of that Europe travel, don't we? Yeah, definitely. You tell me how cold it is. Should we say on a scale of zero to pool at the hotel? Oh my God, the pool is ridiculously cold. It has to be warmer than the pool. Same. Freezing. So we were talking last night actually in the room saying about van life around Europe. I know a lot of people do it. Obviously our van's not really kitted out for, for long-term travel. Maybe we will upgrade at some point. Lauren said she fancies van life around Europe. I said it'd be too hot for me. I prefer van life when it's cozy, you get warm. But you know when it's hot, it's gonna be hot, sweaty, that you can only open so many windows and doors to get air in. But I guess you can always just come down to the beach and jump in the ocean. So it's worth thinking about, maybe next year. So Palma Nova, a few more bars, clubs and supermarkets. The guys over there watching football. Anywhere you go in Spain, you're gonna find a bar with live Premier League football. It is Saturday at midday. Two things to note, Palma Nova is about 20 minutes up from Magaluf, a lot more respectable. Actually, someone said that to us in Magaluf last night. They said, oh, you're staying in Palma Nova. Oh, at least you get duvets at your hotel. <laughs> so I think this is definitely a nicer area than Magaluf, but still close enough to go in for the people that want to party and the beach. I think, honestly, is one of the nicest ones in the area. So as you can see, Lauren's crashed out on me. I'm gonna have a little chill time. The sun's starting to go down, the music's chilling, and there's actually lots of volleyball games going on. So I think I'm gonna pull up a pew and just chill out here for a little while until Lauren is ready for dinner. Good morning, Lauren. Ready for a bit of dinner? I'm powering out. Power oh, nap. Got my wine, my balsamic, I'm good. The guy remembered us from last night. He came straight in with the bread and this alioli is like eating like four cloves of garlic, which you know we absolutely love. I don't smell it on him because I'm already sweating garlic all my life anyway. <laughs> Delora's a garlic queen. I feel like you've got me bad on garlic, but we can be smelly breaths together. And we've even got a little guest with us this evening. Heavy, you know. Oh, we can't steal that one. I'm on the pineapple juice. Cheers. Boomerang pressure. Oh, that is bad boy. Yeah? <laughs> That's a close up. Let me see what's going on in the boomerang. Was it a success? Look at that. Mains have come out. Lauren got like a, a vegan meatball kind of thing made out of lentils. It looks like it's on mashed potato. Get in there, mate. Which she's happy about. I got a little tagliatelle pesto. Are we cheers in? I feel like it's always tradition to cheers. Just for yeah. the sake of the vlog more than anything. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. See you in a minute. It's not like you to get something sweet, is it? Come on then, look at that for a view. That's our hotel by the way guys, inside by Melia. <laughs> going for a little walkies. Yeah, late night stroll, got the jacket on. We were gonna call it a night, absolutely knackered, but we fly over in the morning, so gotta go out and see what's going on this way tonight. I feel like I'm on an episode of, what do you call it? Brits Abroad. Welcome to the land of tat. <laughs> that was the weirdest experience ever, it's like a little, underground Asian supermarket. Am I delirious and tired, or is this just a dream? Let me see what it says on it. <laughs> hey, <see. laughs> Gotta get up Snowden now to get back home. I think that's enough for one night, innit? Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Try and not find any weird looking babies on the way home. <laughs> Right, well I think that is us. Where are you? <laughs> I've lost her. I've lost her. There's so many mirrors. It's like Hunger Games in here. What a beautiful room though. Wish we were staying here a bit longer just to chill by the pool and come back up here and relax. But, job done. Inside Calablanca by Inside by Melia. There's a few of them on the island. They're actually worldwide. I know they're in New York, they're in Germany. Check them out. Massive thanks to the guys for putting us up for the night. Are you coming in Lowell for the sign out? Yeah. One thing I will say while I'm waiting for Lauren, definitely taking these slippers home. <laughs> They're going straight in the camper van, boy. It's been nice, hasn't it? It's 
It's been really, really nice, yeah. It's actually the closest thing we've had to a holiday ever. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. We've been chilling. And Charlie's, I'm really proud of you for sitting and relaxing by the pool. <laughs> For two days, one and a half days, I managed to kind of switch off and just chill by the pool and look at the result. Oh, I nearly ended the vlog without showing you this. Oh, you have to get some man though, didn't you? <laughs> Absolute ruckus. Why don't I do it, man? Give me a t-shirt and go adventuring. Anyway, hopefully, a couple of good trips coming up, like a pretzel. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you're coming to Mallorca, I'd like to come back to Mallorca, actually, and do a bit more exploring. Maybe spend a week or two yeah. here, get a car and go exploring, but that's for a whole other vlog. We will catch you on the next one.